The Oscars are this Sunday, but please stop calling them the gay Super Bowl because the Oscars came first. So if anything, the Super Bowl is the hetero Oscars. Yes, of course we're excited for Hollywood's fanciest popularity contest, but we're more excited for our Oscar viewing party. So we do a shot every time someone walks off stage the wrong way. We do a shot every time someone pretends they haven't prepared a speech. And we play Mary Kill with the Price Waterhouse Cooper's briefcase, guys. <laughs> oh, everyone has the time of their lives at our Oscar party. Remember last year's? Oh, yeah. Saoirse Ronan and I have the same agent. Isn't that funny? No. Yeah. no. Mm. Matt Damon is both taller and shorter when you meet him in person, if that makes any sense. I mean, it does when you know him. That makes sense. Eddie Redmayne is obsessed with everyone knowing he can do the splits, and all of his friends are concerned, including me. Me too. Uh, Brian Cranston and I. Love baking. We call ourselves the Cupcake Heads. Isn't that funny? Okay, I really shouldn't be telling you guys this. Then just don't do but it. Michael Fassbender has 14 ribs. And now when you watch his movies, you will totally be able to tell. Yeah, I should leave. Oh, no. my two of our friends have been up. Yeah. No. Listen, if you guys would stop talking during this, maybe we would be able to watch it in peace. <laughs> no. Were we name dropping too much? Uh, you know who does that? Our friend Renee Zellweger. Oh, uh, I know. <laughs> Honestly, Renee, we get it. You're famous. Congrats. <laughs> Every year, the Oscars plays an in memoriam to remember the Hollywood stars that have gone away to that big Vanity Fair party in the sky. <laughs> but we have our own tradition, honoring the people who are dead to us. You know what you did. You know what you did. You know what you did. Allegedly. Oh, that was absolutely beautiful. So moving. So moving. Yeah.